Is this thing recording? Okay, great. Something to think about. Um, hey, it's HJ, by the way. I was getting out of my car. At the same time, the truck pulled in behind me to get into their parking spot, and a mother got out with her son. And, you know, I kind of was like, hi, as I brought my bags in with a giant lightsaber and a giant stormtrooper helmet. I said hey, and then I came inside, and then I saw a quote on Twitter that was like, I wanna change a generation or something like that. I wanna change this generation or I wanna help shape this generation or something like that. I was like, dang, you know, first thought, I wanna change the generation too. I wanna shape the generation. And then the first thing that came to my head was like music, talking online. Okay, so that's kind of helping a tiny bit on a mass scale, but all in the moment I felt convicted and was like, why do I wanna change a generation whenever I, didn't even ask for my neighbor's name when I got out of the car. And then I thought to myself, changing the generation is, is a very lofty thought and it's doable and that's the call that God has on some people's lives, but how can I change a generation when I don't even talk to my neighbors? Whenever I don't even know their names, I couldn't even tell you two houses down, like who lives there. I th I'm like, I think a mom, I think it's a daughter or a son or something, I don't even know. I haven't even introduced myself. And so I was just kind of convicted about that. And I was like, dang, now I'm like, I wanna make brownies, I wanna go knock on the door, I wanna introduce myself. That it's like, I have hope, and I don't know if they do or not, but I have it right here and I'm their neighbor. If I can't even share friendship or hope or truth or you know, invite them to be a part of my life, to be a part of their life, to just be friends with them, in hopes of them coming to saving grace with Christ, then who am I to sit here and think I'm gonna change this entire generation whenever I can't even change my little apartment complex? And so I just wanted to encourage you that if you're a person that you have a very lofty and high goal, that's great, keep it, keep it in your pocket, don't leave it, don't throw it away, don't ever think that that's something you can accomplish, but at the same time, start small, like God, gives you little to be faithful with before he gives you much. And so if it's your neighbors, if it's your family, if it's even friends that you have from work or from school or whomever, and you just have like a regular work school relationship with them, but you haven't taken it to the next level of just loving them like Christ loves people and being there for them and caring for them and getting to know them on a deeper level and sharing the truth of the gospel with them, then let me just encourage you to be faithful with the little God gives you. Because let me tell you something. If a couple hundred people in this world are gonna like shift this generation and make such a large stamp, like we got the Lecrae's out there, you know, we have these people out there, but then there's all of these tens and hundreds of millions of people in between. And just because you're not that, and you might never be that because that's not what God has for you. That doesn't mean that you can't make a change. And how much more of a change for Christ and for good can we make in this world if all of the small people just reached the 5, 10, 15 people around you with love and with truth and with hope? And how much more of a shift on this generation can we make? with the small impacts multiplied by millions than the large impacts multiplied by hundreds. Get what I'm saying? So I just wanna encourage you and you know, God does tell us to go out and be fishers of men. It's not just something that I've like created and it's like, oh, Hillary Jane, that's the best idea we've heard in a long time. Like this is not my thought. This is the Holy Spirit convicting me of something that I haven't been doing. And that's like love people, befriend people, evangelize people. And so I just wanna encourage you to just know that that's actually like a commandment from God for all, all of you Christians watching. Like it's not an option actually. <laughs> God commands us to do this. So I just wanna encourage you to obey Christ, to love people and to be one of the million small shifts in our generation that can make a bigger impact for Christ over time. You know what I'm saying? Sorry for my rant. I had to get off my chest because I really felt convicted and I'm really about to like go make some brownies right now for homegirl next door. So yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Until next time. Peace.